come to my channel here will be some solving question three and question three says that construct a circle of 81 millimeters diameter using general method construct a nona gun in the circle construct a nona gun in the circle so the diameter of the circle is 81 millimeters so let's see how this can be done what we need to do first is to draw a horizontal line so we draw a horizontal line like this okay so i'm going to take a measurement of 81 millimeters so from here so this is the point zero so then i will take 81 here so this is 81 millimeters so this point i will call it point a okay then this is point b okay so next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to bisect this line it is 81 millimeters supposing it is 80 millimeters i can easily get the midpoint so to get the midpoint i'm going to bisect this line a b so we bisect line a b so we put the midpoint of the compass here at a and then we extend to a radius greater than half of a b then we draw an arc up here and then we draw it down okay then we put the point at b now with the same radius so we draw an arc here and draw an arc here all right so we are going to join the point of intersection of the arcs together okay so to draw a bisector of line a b so we draw a line like this okay so this is the midpoint of line a b so let's call this point let's call it point o here so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw the circle now so putting a point of the compass at point o then i will extend to point b okay point b here then i'm going to draw a circle like this so we draw a circle here so just take it easy okay so we have drawn the circle now so we have drawn the circle now next thing that we are going to do because we are asked to use general method so and we are to construct a nonagon that is a nine-sided polygon so what we are going to do is that we are going to divide a b into nine equal parts we divide line a b which is diameter of the circle into nine equal parts so how do we do that just look at the way I'm going to do it it's very very simple now so what we need to do now is that we are going to draw a line so uh, for me I usually set my ruler like this when it's come to uh, doing this type of work so I will uh, you can use your 30 degree set square set it on your ruler what I mean is this. let me do, let me do that so this is my 30 degree set square so I will set it on my T square like this okay then this point is at point a then i will draw a line in this direction draw a line in this direction then i'm going to uh, let's call this line let's call line ac so this, line, this is line ac then i'm going to i'm going to uh take one one uh, uh one, one that is uh 10 millimeters or one centimeter each from a so this is uh, one this is two so what we are doing is that we are going to divide this line a b into nine equal part or equal parts because we are constructing a nonagon that's a nine sided polygon so that's why we have to divide this line a b into nine equal parts and when you have to do that you do it on this uh this line okay you do it on this line so that is true so this is three okay so here is four so this is five okay then here we have six this is seven then this is eight and then we have what we have nine all right so the last one is this so we are going to join the last one with the end of the line which is point b so we join the last one with the end of the line which is point b okay so having done this now the next thing we are going to do is to set a square along this line 
and you support it with the ruler okay so like this all right so you move it to the next point and you draw a line that will touch line a b move it to the next point so draw a line that will touch line a b so i've said before when you are doing this uh work you make sure the ruler is stable or remain uh unmoved on the surface of the paper then it is the same square that you are moving the same square that you are moving so if i move to the next one now you can see that the ruler does not shift then it is the same square that i moved so you draw this line so move the same square to the next point then draw this line to meet line a b so from here now to the next point so draw a line to meet line a b so move to the next one so you draw a line to touch a b then draw to touch a b then you move to the last one so then you draw a line that will touch a b so this is it all right so we are going to number this point so here is point one this is point two this is point three okay so here is point four this is point five here is point six this is seven and this is point eight then this is point nine which is m b is point nine all right next thing i'm going to do is very very important so you need to uh, pay attention to this so put the midpoint of the compass at point a extend it to the end b of the line okay so extend it to point b on the line then you draw an arc up here draw an arc up here okay so like this then you draw it down here draw it down here okay then with the same radius put the pinpoint at point b here then you draw an arc up it will touch point a so draw an arc up here so uh, draw an arc up like this okay then you draw it down okay so the arcs intersect all right so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw a line from this point i call this point here let me call this point point d okay so where the two where the arcs intersect and this point i will call it point e so next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw a line from this point d it will pass through point two and touch the circle then we do the same thing draw a line from point d here passing through point four and touching the circle down here then we draw it again from this point O here, D here, passing through point 6 and touching the circle. So we also draw from D again, passing through it and touching the circle. This is it. So if I draw from this point O now, okay, so we draw a straight line from here and we pass through point 2 touch the circle at this point so let's take note of this point okay then again you draw a line from point o passing through point four and touching the circle okay so this is it so you draw the line to pass through point four and it touches the circle at this point so take note of that then draw again from this point d here from point D, draw a line, so passing through point 6, so we make use of the even number, so this is another point here on the circle, then you draw again from O, passing through point 8, passing through point 8, so lines are many, but this is more accurate, so draw the line, so touch the circle, at this point so this is another side so take note of this okay so then we now go to point e here so we draw a line from e passing through it so i can start with two down to eight i can also draw from uh take it from eight 
to, to, to draw a line from here to touch the circle at this point so you take note of where the line touches the circle then draw from E again to pass through 6 to pass through point 6 so this is it so draw the line like this to pass through point 6 and touching the circle at this point so this is it touching the circle at this point then from E again draw E to pass through point 4 draw a line to pass through point 4 so it goes like this so it touches 4 at this oh, sorry touching the circle at this point after it has passed through 4 then you now draw from E again passing through 2 and touching the circle so this is it so draw this line passing through 2 and touching the circle at this point okay so we have what we have this all right so what we are going to do is that this point here so if i'm to label this so we already have this is c d and then okay we have e f so this is c so e f um okay this is f so this is f so this is g okay so here is h i so we have a here so this is j okay here is k and this is l and this point is point m okay so if you look at the number of letters that we have here so this is uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine um okay if i'm to join this together i hope this will not be giving me a 10 sided polygon so this is one okay and this is um, okay so i'm not supposed to count b so we are joining uh m and f together so this b i'm not supposed to i shouldn't have counted it okay as part of the uh point on the vertices of the polygon so we join gh together okay so join gh together with a straight line all right so then we join hi together hi together then we join i a together like this then we also join a g together then we join so jk like this then we join kl together then we join so lm together like this all right, so if you look at what we have, we have a nine-sided polygon. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a nine-sided polygon, which is a known algorithm. It's as simple as I've done it here. All you need to do is to practice it. When you practice it, you get it better. Thank you, and keep on practicing.